Hey, what's going on guys? Biddy here, and I got a new video for you all today. Um, my next video is going to be about my recent uh, time at the Somerville MSS that happened just this past weekend. Uh, but for today, I'm actually going to, to quickly talk about um, five tips for uh, someone who is going to a VGC tournament for the first time, since there's a good amount of them with new generation and all. Uh, the gameplay on the screen you'll see is just a random uh, Master Ball tier match I had and just felt like having as like the background video I guess but so yeah I'm gonna go over five simple tips there's a, obviously be more but these are like just five that came to my head and I feel are very important I'm gonna quickly talk about each one uh, starting with the number one uh, tip is just chatting with people so when you go to these events, obviously for the first time, you may not know too many people, obviously, unless you know some beforehand. So as you play your matches or as you're just chilling, just have conversations with people. Ask about how events go. Ask about other events in the future if you're interested. The community is very welcoming from my personal experience. And it's a lot of awesome people that I'm sure you will be very fond of having conversations with and learning about future events and whatnot. Um, so yeah, that's definitely just that's just like just in general for events, even Smash tournaments, like whatever environment, just like making new friends and even connections is just too it's just too good, honestly. <laughs> um, but next tip, it's gonna be more going into like the aspect of competing itself, which is taking down notes. Um, as you uh, play your matches, you will obviously have time between matches, and you're actually allowed like a piece of paper that you can write down notes and stuff. So. When the match starts up, you can look at their opponent's team. You would write you write down all the Pokemon you have, they have, so you don't like forget it or anything. And then as the matches go on, you can write down what moves they use and whatnot. You can you can get as detailed with it as you want. Um, and this can help, especially in a best of three format with like midseason showdowns and just regional events and whatnot. You like can if you get to game three, you could be like, oh, I remember that this uh, Togekiss has Ally Switch. And take I could take that into note and just stuff like that or like oh this uh, this Togekiss is not a scope lens one but it's a Babiri Berry and yeah that stuff can definitely come in clutch when you need it um, so yeah I would definitely like, and also you go look back on them later and be like oh so this is what happened this round and you study and learn it's always good uh, next tip also like in involving the tournament itself but charging your switch so depending on the amount of people at the tournament there are it, it can go on for like five to like seven rounds for an MSS and unless you have like a thing that like one of those stands that you can plug a charger in and charge it while you're playing which is pretty cool I don't um, the time in between your rounds and whatnot it's recommended that you plug in your switch on uh, like into one and out an outlet or something and just to get some charge on it because the battery can drain on it if it's like multiple hours of you just use it because obviously you use a handheld mode um, and connect that way so when you get your chances just charge 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 when you can because I almost my my switch almost died on me once while I was playing but it came in clutch and helped me out and if you can have like a portable like charger thing with you that's always very good Alright, so the next tip, it may sound pretty basic, but it's pretty much to relax your mind. Uh, with this game, you can like, stress yourself out too much, especially when you have like a minute in between rounds and you're just sitting there like, do I do this? Do I do this? Do I do this? What if this happens? What if this happens? What if they do this? What, what if this misses? And it's very easy to like, psych yourself out. Um, but just remember, like, take a deep breath and just like, go with your gut, honestly. Obviously, it may not always be the right choice, but just whatever you're confident in, it's just best to go with, honestly. Um, but yeah, no, it's very easy to get stressed out and like get headaches from like thinking way too, way too much, and you may like overthink scenarios, and you can get cucked for it, honestly. Uh, but yeah, that's just a simple tip with, like I said, with a lot of things competing. And uh, the last tip I have, and also as pretty simple, and kind of like goes along with the first point, but asking for advice. So, especially like when you play people every round, whether you, like, it's better to do it, I guess, when you lose, because you want to, you don't want to win and be like, hey, what could I have done better? But there's a lot of experienced people in this scene. Like so many people I've played, they're like, yeah, I've been starting, I've been playing since like 2010, and I'm like, Jesus. So any, every now and then I'll be like, hey, do you have like any little advice or like 
what do you think like help like what do you think helped you understand my team more and, and like people are willing to help you out be like yeah you got to be aware of this 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 it's also where come, uh, taking notes can like come into play because um you can look back on them and be like it and like you just converse with people along with friends like you see you see how a lot of these connect with each other it's pretty great um but yeah no it's it's a pretty simple tip but hey it's helped me out as far uh, so far right now and it can help any new player out yourselves but yeah, no, the main thing obviously is to just have fun. Um, that's I guess that's like an additional tip. Um, yeah, make sure you just go to your events, have a good time, and try to enjoy yourselves there. And if you want to keep going, make your friends, learn about more events, get like learn, get better, and kick ass. Uh, but that's gonna do it for this video, pretty much. Uh, thank you all for watching. And I'm, my next video is going to be a recap of the Somerville MSS I went to. That's probably going to be in a few days, I want to say. Maybe a week. Definitely not as long of a gap as this one is. But I'll definitely try to post them when I can. As well as other videos. Just let me know what you want me to do. And I'll do my best to uh, uh, do it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, sub, blah, blah, blah. And I'm out. Peace.